what is going on youtube ladies and gents welcome back to another video i am back home and so you know what that means we're about to be working on the pond um basically it's springtime obviously and so nothing much is happening in the pond right now um so we got some maintenance work to do today as well as getting it started with plants so that soon we can add fish because let me tell you i want to add a ton of really cool fish in here um, I'm thinking like largemouth bass, bowfin, maybe bullhead, channel cat. I don't really know what's going to happen. A gar too. But first we got to make this look natural so that it's a good habitat for the fish. But without further ado, let's jump right in and I'll show you what it's looking like right now. All right, so it's looking pretty good. Um, it's super clear as you can see, crystal clear water. Um, but we got to do some work with the, uh, the pump. We got to hide uh, the, the pipe and the cord um, just to make it you know not look so artificial um the plants are doing really great i think these are the lilies right here um i think that's a type of vinca maybe and then this is either daisies or cone flowers i planted uh transplanted last year a couple of these over here so not exactly sure what that is but you know those the plants are doing great growing over the rocks i love it my mom got some uh some flowers but the rabbits started eating these ones so we got a little fence around that for now as you remember from last summer uh i built this pond in the heat of the summer and I had no shade to, to begin with. And so quickly the water got green because the algae was able to grow with basically unlimited amount of sunlight and because there was no shade. So what we gotta do is we gotta add the water lilies. Um, maybe we'll get some water hyacinth, I'm not yet sure, but we're gonna get it so that some shade starts growing and uh, also as a refuge for the fish. So let's put the lily pad in and then we'll go forage for some wild aquatic plants. Okay, I cleaned the pond up a little bit. Um, as you can see, um, covered up the pump to going in. I'm gonna have to get some more rock to cover up that cord uh, that goes up there, but looking pretty good. I'm gonna turn the water back on and this will clear up real fast. All right, so uh, here's the drop and grow lily. I just got this at uh, Menards, um, but I think this will be probably big enough to cover the entire pond. And if not, I know where to get some more. So let's open this baby up and maybe we'll have rinsed off and place it in the pond. That was a nice pot. It's already got little leaves, which is crazy awesome. All right, let's drop her in. The lily is now in the pond and it is clearing up. So we gotta go get some more plants. We're gonna go to a pond that I have fished at um, quite frequently and it has a ton of reeds and other grasses there. So we're gonna go dig some of those up. So I'm at the pond right now. Uh, check out these really cool plants. So we got little baby reeds right here. This would be perfect. And then we have this reed right here with the flatter, uh, the flatter leaves, and we might be able to find some babies of those too. But well, that's gonna look insane around the outside of the pond. So this is what we got here. We got uh, this root system, and they're just popping off out of it. And I'm sure this came from a bigger plant, but we could even divide these little segments up and make them their own little roots. Oh, this is really neat. Let's get some more. The plants have been washed and I've trimmed off all the dead stuff. And now I'm in the process of putting the plants in the pond. I've already got started and it's looking good so far. All right, so take a look. I got the reeds in and I weighted the roots down with rocks and so now they're sticking out of the water that looks absolutely insane the reason why I want these reeds in this pond is because they suck out a lot of nutrients all like the phosphates and the nitrates um, and those are what help algae to grow so when these reeds with their big roots um, are sucking out all these nutrients then it makes the water even clear because it outcompetes the algae for food <laughs> so now that the pond is looking extra nice i decided well let's get some little fish in here some minnows some bait fish so that soon when we put whatever fish we get whether it's a bass or a bigger fish um, then they'll have plenty of food to eat. So I want to get this going. I got my net here, uh, but we're going to scoop around with the net 
and then catch as many, many little fish as we can and we'll release them into the pond. All right, we got a guy. Now that is a green sunfish right there. Kind of like a bluegill, but a little bit different. It's got a bigger mouth and it's much more aggressive. And these guys can actually hybridize with bluegill and make super aggressive, big offspring. But actually I caught one off camera, but that's our second one. Perfect, perfect bass food. Got another one. Check them out. Another green sunfish. Not too big, not too small. Perfect food. Awesome. And they'll eat all the mosquito larvae on the pond too, which is going to be great. Don't have to worry about that or any bugs. Look at all these toad poles. Makes me think there aren't very many big fish in here. There's little toad poles everywhere. Well, we'll take a couple with us too. Look at all we got, 10 green sunfish and then a bunch of toad poles. That's gonna be great starter, uh, starter fish for our predator fish that are gonna go in this pond. All right, gonna let the fish go. I'm super excited for this because we're gonna have these bait fish in here, which means that it's gonna be perfect for when we let our new pet bass go in here that I hope we can catch soon. So let's let these guys go so they get acclimated and uh, first fish in the pond, 2021, let's go. All right, take a look at these gorgeous fish. Bass, love to munch on these. So do catfish too. Let's get the big one. They got some really cool coloring on them. When they get older, they get streaks of blue. You can already see that in the, in the gill plate a little bit, but they get gorgeous blue colors and yellow fins. So this is the biggest one we got. The other ones are more bite sized, but let's let them go one by one. I don't want to put this water in the tank, in the pond, because it's got all sorts of algae in it. So we're gonna grab each fish, let them go. I can see a few of the tadpoles. Don't see the fish yet though. I think they all went straight for the rocks. But man, this is gonna be this is gonna be wild once it's done. Like I mentioned before, I have some big goals for the summer. I wanna get some crazy fish for this pond. I'm thinking bowfin, gar, bass. I am so pumped because I wanna hand feed these guys. It's about to be crazy. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna stay tuned for what happens next. Cause there's about to be plenty more videos. So thank you all for watching. That concludes, uh, I guess, this episode. So catch you guys in the next one. Peace.